Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the figure from Roblox The Doors. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with the figure from Roblox The Doors, let's begin by drawing the head. So we're going to make a circle shape. We're going to leave it kind of open at the bottom. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to make a nice big circle shape like this. And I'm going to leave it open at the bottom. Now inside of here, we're going to make another circle shape. So we just want to draw another circle shape right inside of here. Now right above the circle, I'm going to make a little curve line. And then right below it, I'm going to make another little curve line. Now we're going to add the teeth. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come down to a point and up with a V shape. And then I'm going to make another V shape that goes down and up here. We'll also do that same thing over here, just go down and then up. We'll do that down here as well. I'm going to bring this up to a point and then down. And I'll do one on each side, up to a point and down, up to a point and then down. And then I'm just going to fill in the side of the mouth with some extra teeth. So we'll just do that same thing, just kind of add some extra teeth right along there. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes down on each side for the neck. And then he's got these kind of like bones sticking out. So let's start here. I'm just going to draw a line. It's going to come down to a point on each side, just kind of like in with a curve. Make it come to a point and bring it up. It's going to be at a point and I'm just going to bring it up. Now let's work on the arms. I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to draw a line that comes out on each side. And then we're going to make a line that's going to come up on each side. Let's begin with a curve. So I'm going to bring a line that's going to curve down to a point and then back. Do that same thing here. Let's just curve it down to a point and then we're going to bring it back. That'll be the thumb. Now starting here for the fingers, let's draw a line that's going to come up going to come down to a point and then back here. Make another one that's going to come out to a point. It's going to curve down and come back. And then one more. It's going to come down to a point and then we're going to bring it over and then up for the hand. Let's do that same thing here. I'm going to bring this line up, take it down to a point and we're going to come back. Do that same thing here. We're just going to come out, bring it down to a point, and bring it back. And then right here too, we're going to bring this down to a point, we're going to bring it over, and then up. And then I like to add just a little line right down here on the hands. Now for the arms, let's bring this line in. And we're going to bring it back here towards the body. Same thing here, just kind of bring this down and then bring it back in towards the body for the arms. I'm going to bring this line into a point and then curve it out. Same thing here, I'm going to bring this into a point and then curve it out. We'll bring a line down just a little bit on each side. We'll bring this into a point again and curve it back out. And same thing here, into a point and then curve it back out. Now starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go down and in. And same thing over here, down and then in to kind of finish off the body. Now for the legs, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go out 
and then it's gonna come straight down. Same thing here, we're gonna go out, and then we're gonna come straight down. I'm gonna curve this line down and bring it back in. Same thing here, curve this line down and then bring it back in. Do that over here too, we're gonna bring this down and bring it back. And then one more here, bring it down and then bring it back in. Next, we're gonna bring this line up and then in at an angle. And we'll do that same thing, bring it up and then in at an angle. And we'll just make a little line across to connect it. And there you go, there's your drawing of the figure from Roblox The Doors. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.